Hi friends, welcome back to Laravel A tutorial. In this video, we will going to learn about database seeding. Laravel provides a simple method of seeding your database with the test data using the seeder class. Laravel makes it pretty easy to perform seeding. A seeder class contains a run method by default. You can insert data by running a query builder or eloquent model factories. You can also enable the calling to the user table seeder in database seeder run method. So here you can see in our project inside the database folder there is a seeder folder and here we can see the database seeder.php that is default seeder for our application. Seed class may have any name you wish to write for your own. By default you can use database seeder and you can call method to run other seeder class from here. So now I want to create our own seeder. So here you can see this is the Laravel 8 database and in this database there is a table that is students table. Currently in this table we have no records and this is a structure you can see there is a ID name email created and and updated it. Let's create our own seeder to insert some data in the students table. So to create seeder, we need to use PHP artisan make seeder. And after that, we need to provide our the name that is the name of the seeder. So I want to set the name that is student table seeder. So let's create enter and the seeder created successfully. So if we go and refresh our seeder folder, here we can see the student table seeder is created and by default a run method we got inside the student table seeder class. So now if you run our seeder with the php artisan command and then the default database seeder will call and inside the database seeder there is a run method. This run method will call with the artisan command and inside the default database seeder we can call another seeder. So here I have created student table seeder and I need to call this seeder from our main database seeder.php. So here we need to call. To call this we need to use this call and the function and I need to provide the array. Uh, so here array means if we want to add the multiple name and you can add so so here my seeder name is student table seeder so just write the name so just copy it and paste it here and after that double colon and add the class so in this way if you run this seeder command by default that seeder will run to the another seeder that is student table seeder so if you run the default database seeder inside this run method we are calling the student table seeder so it will run the student table seeder and by default the student table seeder will call the run method so here we can write the insert command for student table so to insert we need to use db and the name of the table that is table and my table name is so here my table name that is students so we need to write here and after that we need to insert some data so here we can insert and we will create an array to insert some data so here we can see there is name email so basically we will write the name and inside the name we will write suppose john and after that i am providing an email so there is the email and I am providing the email is john at the rate gmail.com. So this is my insert command for the student table seeder and we have used this db. So we need to use the db. So here we need to use illuminate support facets db. So let's run this seeder. So before regenerate seeder, you need to call the composer auto load. So we need to use composer dump auto load.
so here we can see the composer is regenerating and now we can run our db seeder class and by default this will call the student table seeder oh sorry uh, there is spelling mistake so it will be the facets so now run this seeder so to run this seeder we need to use php artisan db seed so here you can see the database seeding completed successfully so now let's check this your database so here we can see the john and the email john at the email.com is created so because we have created the john at the rate john at the gmail.com basically i am running the php artisan db seed command so it will run the default database seeder so if you want to run our particular seeder so how we can run this so let's modify the records suppose i'm providing the johnny and the email is johnny at the gmail.com and i need to call this seeder with the class name so we need to run php artisan db seed and after that we need to write the class and the name of my class is student table seeder so here we can copy the student table seeder and paste it here so if you run this the directly student table seeder will run sorry spelling mistake so here we need to provide the artisan so if you run the particular student table seeder will call and here we can see database seeding completed successfully and if we check our tables we can see the journey and email is journey at the gmail.com so it's all about laravel seeding next day i'll discuss about laravel faker classes with the laravel seeding please comment if you have any queries and subscribe this channel for more video thanks for watching take care